Our house is deteriorating, the vandalism is a huge problem that we fight there a lot. Mm -hmm. We know the fish ladder is going to have to be replaced. Up north on the San Yem River, they replaced the fish ladder here of comparable size to this, and the cost for that was $45 million. I don't know <laughs> if this one's going to be $45 million, but we do know it's going to be expensive. Wow. Um, and you'd be responsible for that, wouldn't you? Yes, we would. Because you own the dam. Mm -hmm. yep. yep. Well, that's what I was saying. Eat. Right. Okay, I'm getting regardless the picture. Of, I'm regardless getting of the now, fish you know? <laughs> or the amount of water that comes over the dam, we, we're, we're responsible you're for so meeting responsible all the regulations. For that. Yeah. And I suppose you're going to be held to them, probably. Are you held to them, do you think, now? or, or Well, maybe, I don't know if that makes any sense or not, but you know, the regulations I mean, that are out there. You know, enforcement is, is progressive, really. So when you say are you held, no, someone doesn't come in and say, if you don't build a dam tomorrow, then we're cutting all federal funding to the county. Right? Oh, no one yeah, will come no, in and say yeah, that. No. They'll come in and, and put us on verbal notice that, hey, this isn't adequate, it's not meeting code. You guys need to begin planning for mm -hmm. some kind of repair to this issue yeah. and then as time moves on and we we continue to try to figure out how to deal with it it gets more and more progressive yeah i can certainly see where you got a, a tough issue to make here a tough decision to make of, absolutely because you've got a lot of things that, boy you don't control much of it that's the most interesting part yeah. is that you're responsible but yet you can't don't have much of a say in everything that goes around it goes around it so yeah fascinating issue okay um another issue that is is a cost and liability is we have log jams in this at this location uh, mm -hmm. Logs come down the dam, they, they build up against the bulkheads right. and pile up there, and we have to remove those. That, the, the, having that thing dammed, the, uh, dam the dam, mm -hmm. <laughs> having that thing build up behind the dam creates a huge liability. Those things could fall down, it could endanger the structural integrity of the dam, so we have to remove them. A few years ago, we had to bring in a helicopter to lift those logs because there was simply no way to take it out. Very high risk operation. Yeah. Um, we have potential litigation for fish issues, which we mentioned. And so the bottom line is at some point in the future, we're going to have to invest a lot of money into this facility. And we have to invest a lot of money to either fix it, repair it, and keep it, or invest money to take it out. And we got some money now to study those alternatives and say, do we keep it or do we take it out? And so um, that's where we're at today is we're in that process. Mm -hmm. As I mentioned, we received a $5 million grant from, from NOAA to remove the dam and to, and to do all these studies. We, we sent out an RFP in late July to remove the dam, and it closed in September, and we received five bids. Five bids? I was very nervous that because of the tight time frames on this mm -hmm. and the amount of money that we were going to get a bunch of bids that were either way uh, that far exceeded what we could afford, mm -hmm. or they'd come back and say, um, we can't get it done in time, or nobody would bid. Instead, I got five bids, and all five bidders were in the price range that we could afford, and all five bidders said, we can do this in a year. Well, your timing for that is pretty good. Then, well, and let, let's it? also talk about doing it in a year because yeah. people say, well, you're not going to do everything that you should do to look at the options. Mm -hmm. And the time period doesn't deter us from having to do the same thing we have to do if the project were in five years. It puts a lot of pressure on John as the project manager and on me mm -hmm. as the county administrator if we are going to do it to make sure we have everything necessary done within that you know, it's it's a year. It's October 30th or 31st, 31st yep. of next year. Okay. And that's when the dam's removed. So it's much sooner than that. Every All the environmental studies and every, all the studies John mentioned, they still have to be done before, if the board were choose to choose to remove the dam, we could do that. And they would have to be done before if we were to choose to, you know, retrofit the dam and do uh, uh, hy hydraulic, uh, hydroelectric. So the, the point being, there's not going to be anything not done that we would have to do, even if the project were a five-year-long project. Mm -hmm. It's all going to get done. It's just a tougher exercise because we have to do it fast. You're tr Why so fast? I mean, what's the what's the reason for the quickness of it? Well, these are stimulus funds, and oh, whether oh, whether okay. you whether you agree back, with everything yeah. comes back to that. It's funny yeah. how that keeps right. going back. So whether that, you okay. agree with stimulus funds or not, okay. the purpose of it is to stimulate the economy and create jobs. So you have a time and frame. And so to do it. the federal government gave us a strict time frame to spend that money. Okay, I see. And yeah. they're being very strict. And, and they're the being pretty good, pretty good with that. Uh, you got any more of this of, of the show here? You're done with that with that part Here's of the, it here, John? Just a couple of okay. quick comments. All right. um, so we we conducted the interviews. Um, we picked Slayton Construction. Slayton is the company that removed the Savage Rapids Dam. They have great experience. Um, they know the river system. They work well with the regulators. They work well with the people managing their contracts. So Slayton has been selected to do this. We're in the process of oh, finishing okay. a contract with, okay. with them right now. Okay. And as we mentioned, all the funds have to be spent by October 31st, 2010. 
and all the studies and everything have to be done. One of the big challenges, just maybe to conclude this, as far as the challenge that Sladen has, is that the in water work period is June 15th through August 30th. They got 75 days to be in the water to remove this dam. That's a tall order. Because that's when the, the flow of the Rogue River is, is at its lowest, you know, waiting for fish to come into the river. Is that, exactly. That's why that time frame That's there. when fish passage isn't a wow. big issue. Wow. Boy, that's that's on a fa <laughs> that's on the fast track to uh, to something. Yep. You you both are pretty astute uh, astute fellows here. What if you're a betting person? Not that you've seen the studies. What do you think uh, ultimately if we sat here a year from now, which we will do a year from now? What, what do you think is going to happen? I think it's really going to depend on the studies. I, I mean, very honestly, look, look, you know, depending on the impact to the wetlands. If they come back and say, you're going to impact 100 acres of wetlands and you have to mitigate it 3 to 1, meaning we have to mitigate 300 acres of wetlands, the okay. county doesn't have the ability to do that. We don't okay. have the money to do that. So, you know, depending on, and there's other issues within the studies that could, you know, so if, if all of those things came through perfectly and if the other options were prohibitive for some reason, it's obvious the dam would be removed. As I said before, if it comes back and the county can make millions of dollars off generating power, my guess is the commissioners are going to say, we can make million dollar, millions of dollars off generating power. We need to go another direction on this. Mm -hmm. Though, you know, as, as you saw, as we talked about the regulatory issues around being able to do that, that stacks the deck against that option. It but stacks. it doesn't mean it's not an option. Yeah. It just means that we're, if that's the way we go, we're going to have a lot, more, a, a lot of work to do to be able to get there. But it if all, we can get it, there. But it, from listening to you both, it also seems like the alternative of doing nothing of leaving everything a status quo is really not an acceptable alternative anymore really for from i don't know for for a lot of people or a lot of whatever it it, it presents a huge problem it, it, to, to add on to what danny said you know where are we going to bet for a year now i don't know but what i will say is there's a lot of frustration with people right now because they ask a lot of questions about power generation about right. the wetlands about the other things and we can't answer you don't know the answers because yet. we haven't been to studies right. a year from now if the dam stayed, we're, we're going to know that we made the right decision because we had all the answers to these questions. If the dam's gone, we're going to know that we made the right decision because we had all the answers. Mm -hmm. We don't have those answers now, and I'm excited to get these studies going to start getting these answers so we'll, we will make the right decision. And when do you get those back? Do you know? Was there a deadline that each on the studies that for the commissioners to they'll, do They'll this? be running concurrently, but yeah. really what it is is the environmental assessment. Okay. That whole... That, 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 that process includes yeah. all of these studies. Okay. So we get an environmental assessment that speaks to each of the three options, all the environmental issues that were studied, you know, what the results of those issues will be, and you know, we, we make a recommendation of, of what should be done from that. Wow. The, you know, the questions that we get, we welcome the questions. We think the questions are great. They help us in case we are overlooking something or didn't get something. The frustrating thing is some people build assumptions on the back of what they would like to see occur mm -hmm. without having all the data. So in other words, they're answering questions we can't even answer. Yeah, well. And, and that puts, <laughs> you know, us, puts us in a tough position. It does, and, and you're going to be there for a while, boys, so uh, <laughs> I wish you luck. <laughs> Thank you. Don't call me, okay? I don't, want, I don't want you to call me and say, ask me any questions on this. But anyway, that's our show for tonight. I hope that you were able to learn something, uh, certainly about Gold Ray Dam and what the issues facing the county and the liabilities and the questions that you've heard tonight and that uh, uh, we, we follow this process through and we'll see what the studies come up with and uh, then, of course, the decisions have to come from the commissioners. Ultimately, we'll make those final decisions. And so, you know, you guys are off the hook on that then in a way. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding that. But anyway, it's a fascinating story. I, I, it's, a, it's an interesting topic. Wow, it's going to be, John, good luck with that because what a, what a, you're going to learn a great deal of stuff. <laughs> I am. Thank you. And it is an emotional issue, Danny Jordan. It truly is. People mm -hmm. care so much about our environment and our rivers and water and all these things. And so it'll be a tough issue, but I'm sure that uh, when she gets to studies, it'll It'll all kind of become clear to everybody, and the decision will be hopefully a good one that we'll be able to live with everybody. Absolutely. All right? Hey, thanks for being here tonight. Appreciate it. Thanks uh, for having us. Uh, a year from now, we're going to come right back here because in <laughs> 2010, October of 2010, we'll see if you spend all that money and where things stand. I can't wait for that show. Long, long ways from now. That'll do it for our Jackson County close-up show for October of 2009.